Hey, we're going to do a coolant pressure test on this radiator and cooling system. Uh, first thing you want to note is the pressure of the system, in this case is 14. Might be hard to read, but you'll have to look for them. Sometimes they're printed on the underside of the cap. Uh, anytime you take this off, do a quick inspection of your rubber seal here as well. Now, we'll take our coolant pressure tester and we'll install it. And it's the same mechanism as the cap itself. So you have two tangs that have to go in the right position. You'll have to push down and go to the second stage of the click to get there. So it's nice and tight, it's gonna hold pressure. Now we have this gauge, and what will happen as we pump this, is we'll increase the amount of pressure built up in the system. So the idea is we're gonna bring it up to the rated pressure of 14 PSI, uh, which will be located in this blue section right here. When we get to that spot, we're gonna leave the pressure in there for five minutes and look for a pressure drop of anything greater than a PSI. Uh, if there's anything greater than that, we know there's a potential leak somewhere in the system. We need to investigate it either by visually looking or further testing. So we'll pump this up. Now there are air operated models which may work a little bit easier and a little bit faster. How are we doing? We're at about 12. Two PSI to go. And we're at 13. One PSI to go. 13 and a half. Pretty close. 14. So we're at 14. We'll give it a, a bit of a weight and we'll watch that needle very carefully if it drops. Now you don't have to stand and watch it the entire time. Flash forward. You can come back and if it's moved at all, because you did have it perfectly on the 14, you know you have a leak. So when you take it off, you've done your test, everything's okay, you feel good. Just note that there's 14 PSI of pressure in there and that's per square inch. This might be greater than a square inch so you could have quite a bit of pressure. You need to bleed off that pressure before you remove the cap. If you just take this cap right off you're probably gonna get wet. So you should bleed off this pressure. <laughs> you bleed off that pressure just before you pull the cap and you'll stay nice and dry. We didn't find a pressure loss in our system, maybe the cap itself isn't sealing. So what we can do is put it on this adapter, connect it to the same pressure tester, and bring it to that same 14 PSI. Pump forever. Make sure it's nice and tight. So in this case, as I pump up the tool, I cannot build pressure in the cap system. Now really this is just a cap and an adapter. What that tells me is the seal in here had failed and it won't hold any pressure at all. And that's where the leak at and our system was occurring.